evening and welcome to News 10 on My Fox 10. Vigo County Schools unveil an inside look at its future aquatic center. Construction on the facility has been on hold since the beginning of winter. However, today the school corporation revealed the latest in their plans. News 10's Matt Gregory reports. It's new for you tonight at 10. A winter wonderland scene that's had less than wonderful consequences for the Vigo County School Corporation's Aquatic Center. Well, we hope in the first uh, week of March we have been looking at the weather patterns and see that it's uh, going to be warming up fairly soon. And so hopefully that uh, first week or two of March we'll be back on the project. The cold temperatures and winter weather putting this project at a standstill out here, but inside the School Corporation building Monday, the project still moved forward as school board members, students and pool committee members met. The latest uh, information on where we are with our aquatic center, uh, which is great news. We're uh, moving forward and just wanted them to see the latest renditions and some of the latest information relative to the design. Take a look at these rough drawings of the new aquatic center. The renderings of the new Olympic sized pool, the partitions to hold many swimming events, and even a classroom to put the aquatic center at the center of Vigo County Athletics. The good part about it is this will seat uh, around 365 people, so a, a large audience can uh, enjoy the the uh, facility. As the construction teams gear up to get back to the exterior work, this project's timeline holds the future to another Vigo County Schools project. We don't need three pools to maintain, so pulling this out uh, is, a, is a great start for us. And then uh, when we uh, renovate or replace the three high schools, which are you know approaching 40, 42 years old, uh, that uh, we'll be able to have one facility for swimming. But that project won't move any further either until this pool project gets going. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Marty Ledbetter, Matt Gregory, News 10. The Garmon construction team believes they will be finished by December of this year.